Welcome to our Sports Briefing Show, where we dive into a mix of heart-wrenching challenges and uplifting victories within the sports world and beyond. Today, we're covering a spectrum of stories that not only celebrate athletic achievements but also highlight the pressing issues facing our communities. In a distressing report from the BBC, the United States is facing a grim reality with suicide rates hitting a record high. The story of Ben Salas, a talented young individual with dreams of the Olympics, brings to light the silent struggle many are facing with mental health. His parents' response, turning their grief into advocacy, underscores the urgent need for open conversations about mental health, especially among the youth. Meanwhile, in a more positive stride, Wales has embraced the inclusion of skateboarding in its GCSE curriculum, showcasing the evolving recognition of diverse sports in education, thanks to the efforts of young Osh and George. Shifting to the courts and fields, Yahoo US has announced its NBA year-end awards, shining a spotlight on the standout talents of the season, including Nikola Jokic as MVP. This celebration of excellence in basketball contrasts with the broader challenges seen in the sports community, reflecting the multifaceted world of athletics where triumph and struggle often coexist. Whether it's the battle against mental health issues or the recognition of emerging sports and athletes, these stories remind us of the resilience and passion that fuel both individuals and the sports they love. As we navigate through these narratives of loss, advocacy, recognition, and celebration, it's clear that the world of sports continues to be a powerful platform for addressing societal challenges, fostering inclusivity, and celebrating human achievement. Please stay tuned for detailed coverage on each of these stories, as we delve deeper into the complexities and triumphs that define our shared human experience. This week in sports history is a treasure trove of remarkable moments that have shaped the landscape of athletics as we know it. From the Associated Press, we dive into a series of events that have left an indelible mark on fans and athletes alike. Let's embark on a journey through time, revisiting some of the most memorable events that occurred between April 12 and April 18 in various years. On April 12, the sports world has witnessed several historic events, such as the Chicago Blackhawks clinching the Stanley Cup in 1939 despite a losing regular season record. This was a testament to the unpredictability and excitement of sports. Fast forward to 1964, and we find Arnold Palmer winning his fourth Masters title, showcasing his dominance in golf. Another golf legend, Tiger Woods, made history on the same day in 2019 by securing his fifth Masters title, further cementing his legacy in the sport. The day also recalls the boycott of the Moscow Olympic Games in 1980, Pete Rose's 4,000th career hit in 1984, and Manny Pacquiao's triumphant return as the WBO welterweight boxing champion in 2014. April 13 brought its own set of remarkable achievements, such as Dutch Warmadam's groundbreaking pole vault over 15 feet in 1940. Basketball fans remember Elgin Baylor's record 61 points in the NBA Finals in 1962, a performance that still echoes in the halls of NBA history. The day also saw Greg Norman's dramatic collapse in the Masters in 1996 and UConn's unprecedented achievement of having the first three picks in the WNBA draft in 2016, showcasing the university's dominance in women's basketball. Moving on to April 14, we revisit the New York Rangers' Stanley Cup victory in 1928 and the Detroit Red Wings' fifth consecutive Stanley Cup in 1960. In 2013, Adam Scott made history by becoming the first Australian to win the Masters, an achievement that filled an entire nation with pride. April 15 is a day marked by groundbreaking achievements and milestones, such as Babe Ruth's record 60 home runs in a season in 1927. Perhaps one of the most significant moments in sports history occurred on this day in 1947 when Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in U.S. Major League Baseball. In 2000, Cal Ripken reached the milestone of 3,000 hits, further solidifying his place in baseball history. Switching gears to current sports news, Yahoo US brings us an intriguing development from the basketball world. The Boston Celtics have made a significant move by signing point guard Drew Holiday to a four-year extension worth $135 million. This decision has sparked speculation about the future of Derek White with the team. According to Chris Mannix of Sports Illustrated, despite the financial implications of Holiday's extension, the Celtics are determined to keep their core team intact to maintain their championship aspirations. Mannix believes that the team's front office is willing to invest in talent, indicating that White's future with the Celtics might still be secure. Lastly, the sports world recently reflected on the complex legacy of O.J. Simpson following his death. Yahoo US reports that neither the Buffalo Bills nor the San Francisco 49ers, the team Simpson played for, nor the University of Southern California, where he studied, made any public statements about his passing. This silence speaks volumes about Simpson's controversial life off the field. 
The Pro Football Hall of Fame and the Heisman Trophy Trust, while acknowledging his passing, chose to focus solely on Simpson's football achievements, highlighting the dichotomy between his sports legacy and his personal controversies. As we look back on these moments in sports history and consider recent developments, it's clear that the world of sports is a tapestry of triumph, tragedy, and everything in between. Whether it's celebrating historic victories or contemplating the complex legacies of its stars, sports continue to captivate and provoke thought among fans worldwide. In the ever-dynamic world of sports, where the unexpected becomes the norm, recent events across various leagues have kept fans on the edge of their seats. From the NFL to the Saudi Super Cup and the MLB, the excitement is palpable, and the stories are as compelling as ever. Starting with the NFL, Tom Brady, arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, has stirred the pot with his openness to joining a playoff-bound team, as reported by Yahoo US. The buzz around Brady's potential move is not just any rumor, it's about a player who has defined excellence in the league for over two decades. Despite his connections with the New England Patriots and the Las Vegas Raiders, Brady's mention of possibly joining a team like the San Francisco 49ers has fans and analysts speculating about the impact he could have. However, there's a twist in the tale. Brady is set to become a minority owner of the Raiders, and league rules would prevent him from playing while holding ownership stakes. This development adds a layer of intrigue to the saga, as it's not just about where Brady wants to go, but also about the complexities of NFL regulations. Shifting gears to football of a different kind, the Saudi Super Cup witnessed Al Hilal's dominance, as reported by the Associated Press. In a thrilling final, Al Hilal beat Al Ittihad 4 1, a victory that wasn't just about winning a trophy but also about continuing a historic winning streak. Al Hilal's triumph in the Super Cup is part of a larger quest for a quadruple, as they lead the Saudi Pro League, are in the semi finals of the Asian Champions League, and the Saudi Kings Cup. Brazilian winger Malcolm shone in the final with two goals, while Salem Aldassari and Nasser Aldassari added to the tally, ensuring Al Hilal's win. This victory extends their world record winning streak for top tier teams to 34 consecutive games, a testament to their dominance and consistency. The Meanwhile, in the world of Major League Baseball, the Oakland Athletics' J.P. Sears showcased his pitching prowess against the Texas Rangers, as highlighted by the Toronto Star. In a nail-biting game, Sears came tantalizingly close to a no-hitter, carrying his bid into the seventh inning. Despite facing challenges with leadoff walks in the first, second, and fifth innings, Sears and the Athletics held their ground, securing a 1-0, one-hit win over the World Series champions. This victory is not just about a single game. It's a symbol of the Athletics' potential turnaround from a franchise that recorded its worst season last year. The win against the Rangers, a team of high caliber, suggests that the Athletics might be charting a new course, one that could see them shedding the image of perennial underdogs. Each of these stories, from Brady's potential NFL move to Al Hilal's continued dominance and the Athletics' surprising victory, encapsulates the essence of sports, the pursuit of excellence, the thrill of competition, and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Whether it's on the football field, the soccer pitch, or the baseball diamond, the drama unfolds in real time, keeping fans captivated and longing for more. As these narratives continue to develop, they remind us of the universal appeal of sports and the unending quest for glory that defines the spirit of competition. In the competitive world of sports, athletes and teams face various challenges, but perhaps none as frustrating and career-altering as injuries. From the baseball fields of the White Sox to the icy tracks of speed skating and the intense octagon of the UFC, injuries have shaped careers, ended dreams, and tested the resilience of those involved. Yahoo US sheds light on the perplexing situation of the White Sox, a team seemingly cursed by an endless string of injuries. The narrative of their top brass succumbing to injuries is almost as regular as the seasons themselves. In a startling revelation, it was noted that three key players found themselves on the injured list within a mere nine days all due to injuries sustained while executing the simple act of running to first base. Over the past four years, these players have collectively missed a staggering number of games, appearing together in only 161 out of a potential 557. Despite a revolving door of training staff, the injury plague persists, leaving fans and players alike searching for answers and solutions to this ongoing dilemma. On a different note, CBC tells the story of Ren Acorn, a decorated speed skater from the Northwest Territories, who decided to hang up her skates at the tender age of 21. Acorn's journey is a poignant reminder of the toll that the pursuit of athletic excellence can take on an individual. After a challenging season marked by burnout and injuries, she made the difficult decision to retire. As a former member of Team Canada, Acorn's life was consumed by the sport, embodying a full-on lifestyle that left little room for anything else.
Now, with her skating career behind her, Acorn looks forward to exploring new interests and continuing her education at Concordia University. Her story is a testament to the harsh realities that athletes often face, balancing their passion for sport with their health and well-being. In contrast, Yahoo US brings us the inspiring tale of Jim Miller, a UFC fighter who exemplifies resilience and adaptability. Miller's upcoming fight at UFC 300 marks a significant milestone, making him the only person to have fought at UFC 100, 200, and 300. His longevity in the sport is nothing short of remarkable, especially considering he battled undiagnosed Lyme disease for several years. Miller attributes his enduring career to his ability to evolve his fighting style and the sheer determination to provide for his young family. At 40 years old, Miller's passion for the sport remains undiminished, with plans to continue fighting and taking on new opponents. His story is a powerful reminder of the strength and perseverance required to overcome obstacles and achieve greatness. These narratives from the world of sports highlight the unpredictable nature of injuries and their profound impact on athletes' careers and lives. Whether it's a team struggling to find answers to a seemingly endless injury curse, an individual making the tough decision to step away from the sport they love, or a fighter defying the odds to continue competing at the highest level, injuries are a constant and challenging reality. Yet, through these stories of adversity, resilience shines through, reminding us of the indomitable spirit that defines the world of sports. In the world of sports, excitement, competition, and controversy never seem to take a day off. From the octagon of the ultimate fighting championship to the baseball diamond and the Olympic podium, athletes and fans alike are constantly riding the highs and lows of the game. Let's dive into some of the most riveting stories that have recently captured the attention of sports enthusiasts around the globe. Starting off with a bang, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, is gearing up for a spectacular showdown at UFC 300, as reported by Yahoo US. The light heavyweight title bout between Pereira and Hill is poised to be the highlight of a strong card, promising fans an unforgettable night of high-octane action. In a heartwarming moment during the media room entrance on Wednesday, veteran fighter Jim Miller, who boasts an impressive record of 26 career victories, made a memorable appearance. Wearing a way-too-big UFC 100 jacket emblazoned with his name, Miller's presence was a nod to the rich history and evolution of the UFC, reminding fans of the dedication and passion that fighters bring to the octagon. Meanwhile, in the world of Major League Baseball, the Kansas City Royals have been making waves, as reported by the Associated Press. The Royals recently clinched their seventh straight win, sweeping the Houston Astros with a commanding 13-3 victory. The highlight of the game was an explosive first inning, where the Royals scored nine runs, setting the tone for the rest of the match. Bobby Wood Jr. emerged as the star of the show, hitting two home runs and securing five RBIs. This victory not only showcased the Royals' dominance but also their ability to perform under pressure, making them a team to watch as the season progresses. Elsewhere, the New York Mets demolished the Atlanta Braves 16-4, with DJ Stewart and Tyrone Taylor delivering standout performances, further adding to the excitement of the baseball season. Amidst the celebrations and victories, the world of sports also faces its share of controversies and debates. One such issue was brought to light by Sir Steve Redgrave, as reported by The Telegraph. The five-time Olympic gold medalist in rowing criticized the decision to award prize money exclusively to track and field gold medalists at the Paris Olympics. Redgrave argued that such financial rewards should not be limited to athletes in certain disciplines, suggesting that the funds would be better utilized in supporting the development of sports in poorer nations. He highlighted the disparity this creates among athletes, particularly those in combat sports, who might not have the same financial backing. Sebastian Coe, president of World Athletics, countered by emphasizing the importance of sharing Olympic revenues with athletes, who he regards as the stars of the show. This debate underscores the ongoing conversation about fairness, support, and recognition in the world of elite sports. Each of these stories, from the anticipation of UFC 300, the Royals' impressive winning streak, to the debate over Olympic prize money, reflects the multifaceted nature of sports. It's a realm where physical prowess, strategic brilliance, and ethical considerations converge, creating a tapestry of narratives that captivate and inspire. Whether it's the thrill of a knockout punch, the crack of a home run bat, or the pursuit of fairness and equality, sports continue to be a powerful unifier and a mirror to society's values and challenges. As fans and spectators, we're reminded of the resilience, dedication, and spirit of athletes who, regardless of the arena, strive for excellence and push the boundaries of what's possible. In a heart-wrenching report by the BBC, the United States is grappling with a somber reality, 
the number of suicides has reached a record high, with 50,000 cases reported in 2021, marking a distressing increase from the previous year. Among these tragedies is the story of Ben Salas, a promising 21-year-old criminology student at North Carolina State University and an aspiring Olympic athlete whose life was cut short by suicide last year. His parents, Catherine and Tony Salas, were blindsided by their son's hidden battle with depression. In the wake of this unspeakable loss, they've created a memory wall in their home to honor Ben's memory and have become advocates for mental health awareness, hoping to spark conversations that could save lives. The university community has also felt the impact deeply, with a total of 10 student suicides in just over a year. This alarming trend underscores the urgent need for dialogue and support around mental health, especially as suicide emerges as the second leading cause of death among Americans under 35. Experts point to a confluence of factors driving this crisis, including the COVID-19 pandemic, the pervasive influence of social media, and escalating financial pressures. In a lighter vein, the BBC shares an inspiring story from Wales, where skateboarding has been officially added to the list of approved GCSE sports, thanks to the passionate campaigning of 15-year-old Ashen George. Although George himself won't benefit from this change, his efforts have paved the way for future generations of young skateboarders to pursue their passion as part of their formal education. Wales follows in the footsteps of Northern Ireland, becoming the second UK nation to embrace skateboarding, along with other non-traditional sports like BMX, shooting, kickboxing, and wakeboarding in the curriculum. This inclusion not only reflects a broader acceptance of diverse physical activities but also highlights the importance of providing young people with opportunities to explore their interests and talents in a supportive educational environment. Switching gears to the world of sports, Yahoo US has unveiled its eagerly anticipated picks for the NBA's year-end awards. The selections spotlight the standout performers of the 2023-24 NBA season across various categories, including the Most Valuable Player, MVP, which was awarded to Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets for his exceptional contributions on the court. Other honorees include Rudy Gobert of the Minnesota Timberwolves as Defensive Player of the Year and Victor Wembanyama of the San Antonio Spurs, who clinched the Rookie of the Year title. The awards also recognized the strategic brilliance of Mark Daigneault of the Oklahoma City Thunder as Coach of the Year, among other accolades celebrating the achievements of players and coaches who have left an indelible mark on the season. These recognitions not only celebrate individual excellence but also highlight the dynamic and competitive spirit that defines the NBA, sparking conversations and debates among fans and experts alike about the performances that have shaped an unforgettable season. From the somber reality of rising suicide rates among young Americans to the celebration of athletic achievements and the inclusion of diverse sports in education, these stories reflect a spectrum of human experiences. They underscore the importance of mental health awareness the power of advocacy and passion in bringing about positive change, and the joy of recognizing excellence and achievement in the world of sports. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.